What's up with it, y'all? It's Big Boss coming back with another Before You Buy. In today's video, we have YSL Y, the older toilet. Okay, this was the first YSL Y that came out, and I think they made this because Dior Sauvage came out and took the game by storm. This has been reformulated. This is the 2017 version, and they also have the newer 2022 version but we're gonna review this one today first thing i want to say is that it don't last that long nope it don't last 20 hours it don't last 16 hours it don't last 12 hours you're getting about four hours four hours with this fragrance okay the projection is okay moderate i'm gonna get you about like one foot a projection okay so that is the performance of this fragrance now how does this smell hey bergamot in the top notes mint ginger apple you know what i'm saying you got that musk amber grease pineapple there's a lot of notes inside this fragrance but if i was going to sum it up this is a very fresh clean fragrance okay everyday use it doesn't smell synthetic you're going to smell the green apple nine times out of ten okay if i was gonna get to y'all and show y'all the presentation of the bottle it looks like all the other ysl y bottles okay no magnetic top okay this is the batch code down here matter of fact i have bought this off somebody so they kind of like scratched the uh they scratched the label off but it was a bad cold on this you know what i mean and that's the other thing i want to tell y'all you're gonna buy fragrance a second hand like i bought this for 40 dollars, okay from ebay 40 dollars. he sent it with the box i didn't have to pay the whole hundred dollars at the retail version cost so don't forget you can buy fragrances second hand some people only spray these fragrances 30 times and it still got this much in it and they selling it for like 70 percent off but that's besides the point. Let's talk about this fragrance. I like this fragrance. Lemon apple. That's what you can kind of think when you smell this. Think a lemon apple tad bit ginger. Yeah, like a lemon apple. Okay. The occasions you can wear this is every day. You can go anywhere every day and wear this fragrance all year round. But it's going to be really good. It's going to perform better in the summertime. Another thing I can say about this fragrance is that there's no reason to even pick this fragrance up anymore, okay? You don't have to get YSLY, the Eau de Toilette anymore. Go get you the Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Parfum is the new standard. You don't have to get this anymore. Do not waste your money on this. The Eau de Parfum smells just like the Toilette, but it's better in every conceivable way. And if you also want something that's even stronger than that, you can go get you the Eau de Parfum Intense. I have them all. The Eau de Parfum, the, uh, the Eau de Parfum Intense is my favorite. This, honestly, is my least favorite YSLY. But it smells so good, it's not like it's a bad fragrance. I do not want y'all to get confused that this is not a bad fragrance. It's just my least favorite because the other ones, they got smell better. If I was gonna rate this fragrance out of 10, if I was gonna give it a verdict, I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10 just because the performance isn't up to par with its counterparts. Okay, if I was gonna say is this better than Dior Sauvage? Nope. I don't like this better than Dior Sauvage. I don't like this better than Blue de Chanel. Okay, that's one thing I can say that YSL Y, the DNA, is my least favorite fresh DNA. Okay, I know that's a shocker to all y'all. Y'all like, damn, why well, sell smell good? Okay, but it ain't Blue Chanel and it ain't Dior Sauvage. It's like a little cousin. You know what I mean? That's just how it is. Um, what's some more things I can say about this fragrance? Uh, don't pick it up. Make sure you at least get the 2022 reformulation if you're gonna get this fragrance, okay? I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm Big Boss, and I'm out.